now we've created a couple of files based off of the template. We want to see what happens if we update that template. And I have three files based off of the template about us, what's new, and the catalog. As you can see, each one has a little bit of content applied to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our template file and I'm going to select our About Us link and I'm going to simply link to that page using the target selector. I'm going to select the What's New. I can link to that page using a Browse for File and I can select the catalog as well. These quick little changes will go in and if you notice they need to be updated, I have a little asterisk by the name saying that it's not been saved since my last change. So I do Control S for save. It's going to bring up the three files based off of the template. If I say update, you notice it comes through pretty quickly, says three files examines, three files updated, zero files cannot be updated. Every once in a while you may notice that one or more files cannot be updated. This can be for various reasons that you have to take a look at the log to find out why. And say close. And you'll notice here I have my three files. Each file looks the same. So my cut my editable regions have not been changed. But if I come over here to my asterisk, you can notice that they've all been updated. Can't click into the area in the navigation links, however, because that's blocked, because that's not part of an editable region. So we can't see what the change is. But we do have to update. Quick little quick little trick, you can go to file, save all. This will save all the files which have changed since they were last saved. Let's take a look at something that we can see. If I go to my main template once again, what I need to do is I need to insert a new div. Now I have here a grid 8 as a content div, and then I have a class clear because I'm on a new row. But I want to put the div for my footer after this class clear. So I'm going to choose in my code view, say div. This is going to be a class that's a grid 12. Because I'm just going to make one for the whole length. I'm going to put something for some footer content. I might put something involving the copyright, links to the site map. I could put whatever content I want. I'm just right now showing the fact that I have this footer content here. And as is normal, I'm going to put a class clear to signify a new row when necessary. I'm going to say save. I have once again this update templates file, which gives me three files that need to be updated. I'm going to say update. And all three files were examined and able to be successfully updated. So I'm going to say close. Now if we go to catalog, you can see, okay, here's my footer content. I can see this on each of my pages. Once again, go File, Save All. Now, the question would be, what happens if I want to update what's inside this editable region? So I have right now a section that says Main Content goes here. It's pretty generic. I could replace this with anything I wanted to. Sample data here, for example. I say Save. We update once again. Now, if I go, you'll notice, however, if you look up where my tabs are for my files, Notice that there are no asterisks after them. This means they have not been updated. And if I go to the individual pages, I can see this is true. Any changes that I make in a template that's to an editable region will not get inherited by pages that were already created based on the template. Only new pages. So this way it does not overwrite any change that you might have had as long as it was inside of an editable region. The template file only updates the sections which are outside the edible region. These group of things normally like our navigation links, our headers, and our footer areas. This is where we usually keep our content the same. This is what a template is designed to update and use. Templates are a nice simple way to update my files if they're not the site's not too large. So if I'm looking at a site that's anywhere between five pages and thirty or forty pages, templates work really nice. If I'm starting to get more than that, I may want to start looking at some sort of content management system or some sort of server side include for doing my updates, as they'll be processed a lot faster because any files I update will have to be uploaded to the server, which is obviously going to take a lot of time. 
You'll also notice that in this simple example there are only a few files. Updating them was very quick. However, if I have 50, 60, 70 files or more to be updated through a Dreamweaver template, you'll notice it takes a little bit longer to go through and process. Granted, it's much faster than having to update them all by hand, but it is something to keep in mind when we're working on large projects.